So to finish this abstract art tutorial, I thought I would give you guys a few little tips and tricks to help with your artistic flow. Um, because when you are creating, you want to be able to have a workspace that you can work fluidly in, you can um, be spontaneous, um, and you have everything ready at your disposal. And so, um, a big part about that is your paints and your colour. So like I said earlier in the video, really consider what colours you want to use. If you are thinking of creating a really tranquil scene, maybe you might want to research a bit on different colours and see um, what colours kind of evoke those emotions to people visually. Um, and a lot of the time it's blues and greens um, and even then you can go a bit deeper and find more um, associations with them. It could represent nature. You could be trying to depict uh, the feeling of you walking through a forest and how that felt for you. Um, or you might be just choosing the colour because you love it. And I'm a fan of um, blues and um, some of my friends are fans of yellow. So if yellow speaks to you, go for it. Make the whole piece a warm colour um, palette. And now I have a few abstract art pieces that I have done um, previously that I can kind of show you how like the colour palette really affects the work. So if you are looking at this work, it is a very sort of warm tone. It's completely warm tone actually. Um, piece and you can see how all of these warm tones really evoke a different emotion where if you look at the contrast, let me put myself in between them. So can you see the complete like contrast of them? So this all because it's all these sort of warm pinks and oranges with very little blues, it's a completely different sort of fiery emotion to um, the kind of playful action in this one. If we look at another one with all my prepared earlier ones. A blue one, see how quickly that shade of um, cobalt blue, how that contrasts against all of these colours here again. It's completely different emotions, completely different moods you can create. So really consider what colours you'd like to use. Um, and this is another one. And this one also, even though it's similar sort of like rainbow sort of tones, um, the way it's been applied and the background colour, this um, sort of uh, whitish blue blue colour, um, whitish blue, that's another good term, um, uh, it completely evokes a different sort of um, vibe. So really consider your colours and when you have considered your colours and your colour palette you want to use, get it ready so you can um, uh, prepare it like I did earlier in the video, like how I was preparing my palette if you're doing a small one or if you're doing a big one like this, grab some plastic cups and um, fill them all up with your paints, have ample amounts of all of them so if you are mid motion with pink and you want to use the whole tub, um, you will have enough to add a little bit more in different areas. And for going on from that, Think about, the second tip is think about what you would like to apply your paint with. Are you a sponge person? I am definitely a sponge person. This whole piece was created using sponges. And um, a lot of the time people are quite, mmm, sponges. Like how are you supposed to use um, a kitchen sponge in a work? But I can tell you for a fact they're one of the most like they're so much fun um, to use because they're so playful but at the same time you've got a lot of control so you can control how much you want to slide onto it you can pick up as much paint as you want you can pair it back and have hardly anything on it and just create a really nice rubbing technique you can create drips you can fill it up with water and squirt it all the way down your canvas so uh, sponges are a really great way of creating um, pieces that are really um, spontaneous and carefree because you have an applicator that can do a lot of different techniques in one so you are barely stopping you're just picking up another sponge and swiping it across the canvas or um, you might be a palette knife fan this work that I showed you before was completely done in palette knives so you can see kind of the different sort of effect the applique makes but um, even though it's not as kind of blend it doesn't blend as much of the sponge you can really create some really interesting shapes with it and also some really interesting tones you can do two tones you can swipe a bit of white and a bit of blue and then scrape it up at the same time and swirl that and you can create a really cute um, uh, tonal sort of swirls your piece. You can use a palette knife again. These ones were created using a palette knife and just striking it, the canvas, with it. Not striking the way, scraping it down. Um, and that can create really cute little effects to it. It can also help you create really layers really quickly. Um, or if you're a brush person, go for brushes. Um, choose some really big brushes, some of the ones with really big bristles, um, because you want as much paint as you can. Just pack it on um, and swipe it across the canvas. And so 
there are so many different applications you can use. If you've got different applications, let me know because it is so exciting as an artist to experiment and that's the whole part of it. You can use it you can use a kitchen towel, you can use um a chucks, anything really to apply paint. Um and in abstract um art there's so many different options that you can go for and that's the freedom of it so it's really up to you on how you want to create it and what you want to add to it so the final tip i want to give you guys in this tutorial is enjoy yourself because seriously that is the whole point of abstract expressionism and the whole point in art in itself it is there for you to unleash your creativity and unleash your expression in art you are supposed to get a benefit from it and a benefit from painting yourself so go out and get inspired, go to the museum, look online, look on Pinterest, scroll through Instagram. There are millions of amazing artists and amazing artworks that you can sift through and go through them and see them and see them and don't think, oh, oh there's so much, there's so many beautiful ones, what am I going to do, how am I going to create this, uh, look at them and go, I think I'd like to add to them because artists need your work and the world needs your work so get started and start painting um, because no one can strike a paintbrush like you can and as cliche as that sounds seriously it's true and the world is waiting for your uniqueness and waiting for your talent to be unleashed and as much as I can tell you in a tutorial and I hope you guys got something out of it I can't give you the gift that you already have you're already so creative and so talented you need to go out and unleash it all so whether it's in color feel painting, whether you prefer gestural abstraction, go out now and make something beautiful, but make it for yourself or make it for someone else. Um, unleash your emotions and convey how much you love someone or unleash your emotions and convey how much you love yourself and put it in your bedroom. Wherever you want to express your emotion, express it and let it all go because it is amazing um, to see how much you can create and an artwork because when you create um, an art piece and put a little bit of yourself in it I can tell you for a fact there'll be someone else who will see it and go I see a little bit of myself in that too and that is the moment as an artist that is so rewarding because the whole point of art is to connect with other people through visual communication and when you connect with someone on that level it is a whole nother um, playing field of emotions and feelings um, so I hope you guys got something out of this um, tutorial um, and let me know in the comments if you have any more questions or if you would like to see another video tutorial and I hope you guys have a lot of fun creating some abstract art pieces, and I cannot wait to see them. Bye! One more thing that I had to tell you guys is that we have another abstract art post coming. It will be a video, but it's a bit different from a tutorial. It's actually a motion picture of me painting. It's actually a stop motion picture. So that is exciting and that is coming up and I'll release it soon. But I thought I'd give you guys the heads up and let you know that there are more things coming, more abstract art pieces coming. And I cannot wait to share them with you. So I will see you soon and I hope you have a lovely week. And yeah, so now I'm going to do the cool vlogger thing and...